hello guys welcome to my channel genius coders so in this video i will show you how to create actual database in mysql command line line okay open this i have already told you how to install this so type the password my password is genius enter and you can see you can type anything so let's see our first query the first query is show database so you can see i have one two three four five six uh, five database i have already so it show how many database you have created so our next query is how to create the database new database so for this create database and database name which database name we want to give so here i am giving the database name is a uh, mm, genius orders okay and semicolon the query is the create database and database name and hit enter the database is created now how to see whether the database is created or not show databases and hit enter so you can see here the genius coders database is created okay so this way you can create the database and see how many database in your mysql so our next query is if you want to add the table in genius coders or employee or anything you student so firstly we have to choose the database name so for this queue for this we have to use the query use and database name which database which database you want to use so now i want to use the database name is genius coders and semicolon okay so database is changed or when we create the table any table it will add into genius coders in database okay so our next query is so our next query is when we set use the database name like genius coders so we data we change the database so now we want to see which database is selected so for this just type select data and hit enter so now you can see here the database name is shown the database is used so try the another use student database student and show you database sorry so no select And you can see here the student database is selected so it's so it's help to see which database is now in used or which database is changed so in this video that's it guys so we will see in next video how to create the table how to insert or select the data from table so thank you for watching this video see you in next video